Good morning, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome back. My name is Dustin Wan, 10 year Team USA member and professional libero. And uh, as we will continue to do throughout these seven days, we will come back to the theme of the seven day dating course, which is the goal is the opportunity. Be more specific, we need to get the ball high enough for either the setter or another teammate to make a great second touch on the ball. We will talk about how we can utilize one, not all four keys to enable us to put a beneficial trajectory on the ball. Whether it's our preparation, our arms out away from our body, hips forward and chest up, contorting, using our elbows, our wrists, I like to refer to this as talent. By understanding how we can create the most efficient foundation with regards to our body and our platform, we can give an angle that will in turn dig the ball straight up without any other contortions. With this knowledge, we can be more prepared for both powerful attacks and scenarios where we only have time for a quick reaction while also understanding how we can be creative and use our body, elbows, and wrists to contort the ball when we have more time pursuing a tip or an off-speed shot. Let's dig more balls and let's learn how we can put ourselves in the best foundation to dig more balls up and give our team the best chance to transition and get a great swing. Preparation, arms out from our body. We already touched on this on the first day, but it's worth going back to it as there was more emphasis on the space needed for our platform to stay clear away from our body, distorting our initial angle on the ball. Just as we spoke about our arms naturally withdrawing into the body from the side, as well as our arms naturally gravitating tighter to the body in the time between the attacker's contact and our touch. If we aren't conscious of our arms' unconscious movement with drying to the body, we will be consistently contacting the ball tight to our body with our arms perpendicular to the floor. Knowing that the ball will only obey the laws of physics and the angle we give to the ball, the ball will at best be a line drive towards the net if not the floor, not the most beneficial trajectory on the ball for our team. Therefore, we will have to take extra steps, the initiation of extra moving parts to contort and change the trajectory of our poorly crafted angle, whether it be our elbows, our wrists, which necessarily isn't a bad thing, but we want to be as simple as we can. The best players are the simplest. Hips forward, chest up. If you're wondering or hoping to have specific or detailed instructions into the length of a squat or how low you should be on defense, you don't need to wonder anymore. Watching film on the best libero's and the best diggers in the world, there are so many variations of the level of depth these players dig with. The one commonality I've found in the most consistent defensive players is their posture. Their hips being forward and their back almost being peeled open, naturally arching their chest up towards the sky. The athlete's ability to have a foundation where their hips are forward and the chest is up creates space between their arms and their body, creating a natural angle of their arms to be parallel to the floor. If we weren't able to respond to the ball and if it hits the arms, the ball will only obey the laws of physics and go straight up. Remember, the goal is the opportunity. Straight up is the best case scenario. Compare this to how many young players begin playing defense with their hips pushed back and their chest facing the floor. A great position to initiate movement going forward, but our arms will naturally now be perpendicular to the floor. Not only will we have to track the ball to get our hips behind it, but now we also have to move our arms forward in either timing the ball perfectly to get the correct angle on the ball straight up. Or we will have to use what I call talent our ability to contort the ball for our elbows or wrist. All this can be accomplished, but it's not simple. And I, as I will repeat over and over, the best players in the world are the simplest. When we are simple, we have more time, we have more balance, and we are consistently able to reciprocate greatness. The most important aspect on deciding how low or how high you should be with regards to your foundation of the legs is how quickly you are able to adjust to the set 
and get your body in front of the balls hit to your side and your ability to pursue tips and get soft shots. There are many different styles, whether it's an extremely deep squat by Genia or just a slight bend of the knees used by Satorsky. The glue that brings them together is that their hips are forward and their chest is up, naturally peeling their arms away from the body, leaving them with an angle that enables them to make quick reactions with one or two arms without any contortions from their elbows or wrists while digging the attacks straight up rather than under the net. So last but not least, contortions. From the elbows and from the wrist, or what I like to call talent. Anytime we have to break our elbows or our wrist, it falls into the category of not simple. But there will always be moments where we must rely on our talent and our ability to realize that one, our initial angle isn't always optimal. Two, we can contort our platform either with our elbows or our wrists to correct our poor initial angle and to create a new angle, a better angle sending the ball on a better trajectory for our team to transition out of. Most of the time, we will only have time for a simple wrist curl for hard driven balls. The big contortions will be necessary for tips, off speed shots, and balls off the block where we will have to run down. But don't worry, we will dedicate a full day to this topic on day seven. So the new perfect, just as coaches at the high level, Coach you on receiving the best server on the other team by passing the ball three to eight feet off the net due to the probability that if we try and be perfect on the best server, we are now towing the thin line of an overpass. So will we create a new perfect when we have to use our talent. Using our talent or our wrists and elbows to contort and create a new angle on the ball is full of ambiguity. As many times I have seen or done myself, I believe I can put the ball exactly how I want it on the net, but miss and give the other team an opportunity to run their offense. When we are conscious and recognize that a contortion from our elbows and wrists are much more difficult to replicate consistently than a pure angle, we must let our egos take a back seat and allow us to dig the ball on the new perfect five to 10 feet off the net. Because as I will repeat, goal is not to be perfect on defense. The goal is an opportunity to transition out and to get a swing. Digging up just another way to be a more consistent digger. So far it up to have you guys come back tomorrow as we will talk about one of my favorite topics, digging above the waist. And all the ways we can be creative in situations where they're a little more tougher to have a consistent feel and to dig the ball up. See you tomorrow. Better today, better tomorrow, better together.